Hi everyone, we got a new update which is 2021.4. Now initially I got something different on here than I have now. Okay, so the first thing I noticed with 2022.4 is there's no release notes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a hard reset, but we're going to have a look at it and we're going to see how good it is, what we got, is it worth having, and we'll look at it right now. Mal's back talking Tesla. To see the enhancements made to my Tesla and how to update yours, please subscribe to the channel and you can message me with suggestions or for help. Watch right now for Mal's Tesla update. So it's saying regenerative braking on autopilot improvements. So regenerative braking, let's have a look. Autopilot will now use more regenerative braking at low speeds for high efficiency and improved driving experience, especially in stop and go traffic. Increased use of regenerative braking results in less brake pedal, noise and a smoother stop. Well, that's good. Don't you think? That is something we wanted i guess um you know it's interesting i tell you what though um what was interesting uh today <laughs> let me tell you so yesterday i went to the service center at park royal and the, i was getting images of my reversing camera and i've had people on the forum say this that the reversing camera when you reverse it doesn't show it immediately and what did they say was it was this. My SSD card has got an error on it. Now on the computer it shows fine, but as soon as you plug it in to the car, it shows as bad. Um, so they said to me, get another drive and then you'll be fine. So also with it, they said it can cause many things. So it can cause the reversing problem that I've been having. I also found that when it was connected, the light show wouldn't work properly um, with the Jetta Hub. I'm convinced now it may be this, but I don't know. We'll have to do a retest with that when we get the new hard drive. It's coming on Monday, so we'll see. Uh, we'll run that one up. But one thing's for certain, very important. By using this as a shared drive, so I partitioned it, and I made one side music and one side the uh, Tesla stuff, being a dash cam it's knackered it it's killed it off and that's what it is because it rewrites and continues writing and writing back and forward and driving itself mad and it destroys this unit so i'm stuck with a drive i can still use it on my computer but tesla says do not put it back in the car because it's causing unforeseen lots of problems so there's a little tip for you don't use the ssd card for uh, the tesla cam because it's going to get knackered and ruined and then at the end of the day you're stuck with a dodgy drive i mean this one was a, a two terabyte so one terabyte was for the car and one terabyte was for music um now i've got a, a drive only for music and i'll use one for the dash cam i tried to put it on a two gigabyte stick it lasted two minutes and it went so uh, they said that the best one to put in is a 64 gig they said they can supply them at Tesla. So when I next go into Park Royal, and the reason I went to Park Royal is my back of my parcel shelf had broken. Um, I think what happened was I put a bag in it, caught it, and then it knocked the clips off. So not a problem. They're going to fix it about 50 quid. What they did say, what they said, was it was 200 quid, uh, 250 for two tyres. And I was like, what, 500 quid? And they said... Again, tyres. This is this tyre nonsense has been driving me mad. Oh, why? Because rent time. Because I had two nails in it and, and then they replaced them. And now they're saying the tread's gone on this, which is a pain. So I said to them, you know what? I said, uh, I can get that done anywhere, can I? And they said, well, actually, uh, we can't tell you one way or the other, but, you know, you can get it done elsewhere. I said, because it's dear. I said, 250 for a tyre is expensive. And they said, well, 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 as long as you get another Tesla tyre. And I thought, you can get them from Costco, the same tyre that Tesla has, for not the same price. And even the garage I went to was about 170 quid um, all in. So I will be bringing you that information. <laughs> but 
hope this has been useful to you. Um, if it has, and you may consider subscribing for my channel and become one of my respected followers down there, hit that subscribe button and make sure that to get the latest video when it comes out, hit that notification bell because my videos come out every week and they're coming out twice a week effectively and you're going to miss out if you're not signed over and you'll miss out on all this great information that you're going to get, especially with the SSD card. That's a real downer for me. So this knackered because of the fact that I put the Tesla cam on it. Mm. Not good, huh? Anyway, hope this has been helpful to you. Look forward to seeing you on the next one, which will be coming out in a couple of few days, I think. We'll be on to uh, more with the light shows coming out. I think we got, I've got a new way of doing the light show now, getting 180 shows all going off, all with your phone, but an easier way now than when I first showed you. So we're going to look at that one as well. So stay tuned for that. Hit that notification bell. You'll get it when it comes out. Anyway, until my next video, I look forward to seeing you then. I'll be seeing you. Thanks for watching and do tell us in the comments section that you subscribed and we can then contact you if you're the winner when the prize is drawn. Quack, quack. Oops.